We are on self-control this week. We announced yesterday on Facebook we are issuing a challenge. This challenge will run for one month. This is boys against the girls. Girls are gonna win. <laughs> no, boys will. Ha <laughs> ha. Each week for four weeks, we will issue two challenges. At stake, first place on the winning team will receive a 10 pound Amazon gift card. Yay! Second place on the winning team will receive a five pound Amazon gift card. Third place will get a voucher probably for ice cream for the family, which is really cool. Challenges this week are one, put comments on this video on YouTube and tell us how this video connects to our theme of self-control. Self -control. Okay. Yep. Number two, email or private message us a video of you participating with this video. 50,000 points. 50,000 yes. points! For each uh, task are up for grabs. Do you accept this challenge? Parents, you may guide your children, but you may not give them the answer. This challenge is open to any child ages 5 to 12. You have until Tuesday, the 19th of May, to complete the challenges. Are you ready? All right, here we go. All right, so today we're going to hear about the account of Esther. When this account is done during the celebration of Purim, the audience participates with the storyteller. So. Mike has some instruments and some hats, of course. <laughs> so when I mention Queen Esther, she's a star, so. When I mention King Ahasuerus, you will hear this. When I mention Mordecai, he's a cool dude. Because he's a cool dude. That's gonna be annoying. It's like a horse. And when I mention Haman, he's a fool and a snake. All right. Now, during the Purim celebrations, the audience will cheer when they hear Mordecai's Yay! name, and they will boo when they hear Haman's boo. name. So, for your video challenge, you may find different noises for the characters, or you may cheer for Mordecai. Yay! And boo for boo. Haman. Your choice. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Long ago in the country of Persia, there was a king named Ahasuerus. The king oh. threw two elaborate parties, which lasted, now wait for it, 187 wow. days. 187. Now, on the last day of the feast, the king sent for his queen, Vashti, and asked her to come to the party to show off how beautiful she was. The queen refused, and that didn't make the king very happy, and he removed her from being queen. But then the king decided that he wanted to have a new queen, and he sent for all the young and beautiful girls in the kingdom. And this is when we meet Esther and Mordecai. Mordecai. Now Mordecai was Esther's Esther. cousin, and he raised her after the death of her parents. Esther goes to the palace with all the other eligible girls, but Mordecai warns her not to tell anyone that she's Jewish. All the girls in the palace are given beauty treatments for one year and then taken before the king. The king loved Esther the most and made her queen. Now Mordecai was outside the palace one day and he overheard two of the king's guards plotting to kill the king. He sent word to Esther, Esther. who then told the king, the king and the plan 
was stopped. Mordecai, Mordecai got credit for saving the king. Haman was a man who the king had made a royal advisor. Haman was very important and he wanted everyone to bow in front of him when they saw him. So everyone did, except Mordecai. Haman was furious when he found out that Mordecai was Jewish, he concocted an evil plan to destroy all of the Jews. He threw a die, and that's one dice from the pair, and eventually decided on a certain day to enact his plan. He spoke to King Ahasuerus and convinced him to go along, and the law was made. When Mordecai the decree, he was very upset, and he sat at the, at the gate of the palace dressed in mourning clothes. When Esther heard about it, she sent word to him to ask what was wrong. And Mordecai told her Haman's, oh, Haman, Haman. Haman's plan and asked her to intercede for her people with the king. king. Esther, Esther was afraid. You see, to go before the king, king without an invitation was an act punishable by death. And so she told Mordecai. Oh. Yeah, you're right. But Mordecai told her if she didn't help the Jewish people, deliverance would come for them a different way. But maybe this was exactly why she had been made queen. So Esther did something very brave. She agreed to go before the king, but asked that Mordecai and all of the Jewish community in the city fast with her for three days before she did. She said, then I will go before the king, and if I perish, I perish. So Esther did just that. She went before the king without being summoned, but the king was glad to see her. So he held his scepter out to her and asked her what she wanted. She invited the king and Haman to a banquet at her house. They agreed. After the banquet, she asked them to come back the next day for another banquet when she would reveal her request to the king. On the way back to his house, Haman sees Mordecai absolutely furious once again because he doesn't bow to him. So he hatches another plan to completely destroy Mordecai. But that night the king couldn't sleep. And so he had the royal chronicles read to him. During the reading, the king is reminded that Mordecai his life, which he had totally forgotten. Next morning, Haman came to the king 
Okay. Ask him to destroy Mordecai. When the king... Oh, out of the blue, asks him what should be done for someone whom the king... Wishes to honor. Now, Haman thinks the king wants to honor him. So he says, put him on the king's horse, dress him in the king's robes, and have someone important go before him, telling the people to praise him. The king replies... Do that for Mordecai. Mordecai. So Haman winds up leading the horse that Mordecai is riding around the town, urging people to praise him. Haman was not at all happy. That night, Queen Esther has them over for the second banquet. And when the king asks her what she wants, she tells him, all I want is the life of my people. I am a Jew and this wicked Haman has plotted to destroy us. The king gets angry and orders Haman arrested. Queen Esther and Mordecai, Queen Esther and Mordecai, Mordecai, save the Jewish people and Mordecai is made second in the kingdom, second only to the king. And that is the end of our account. Thanks for watching. Watch for a couple, uh, watch for another video in a couple more days. We will see you later. Bye. Bye.